Dan Walker and Susania present Little News Years. Hey, hey you! Are you four? I am, and my name's Bram, and I'm four! And I'm Jake, Bram's dad, but some people call me Boxer Blue. Blah! And here is the news. I got my PJs on, and I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna strut myself. That's what I do. Dad, you're, you're kind of embarrassing me. I mean, I know this is um, National Family PJs Day and everything. Yes, this is the day when your whole family gets to wear PJs. So I know you can't see what's going on here, but I've got this uh, pajama outfit that has little pineapples everywhere, and I'm wearing little pink sunglasses. Uh, yeah, you don't really wear sunglasses either. Uh, anyway, uh, today's uh, Thursday, November 14th, 2000. 2019, we're going to start off like we, we have been recently. We're talking about Saudi Arabia again. Yeah, yes, this time I'm not going to be like, where's Saudi Arabia? Do you know? Because you all know now, right? Do you? Okay, well, if you don't know, Saudi Arabia is a very, very large country in the Middle East. And um, basically, all this is really about today is it's pretty weird because we talk about Twitter sometimes. What's Twitter again? That one I just don't get. Well, that's because you're a little too young to read, right? But Twitter is this uh, social website thing that a lot of people like looking at where basically people just speak their mind and you can have followers who listen. Oh, you mean like, like what we do too? You mean our tweets? Yes, something like that. Uh, yes. So, uh, Boxer Blue and Bram, yes, we do have a tweet, uh, Twitter account. But anyway, um, in uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, which you wouldn't expect would be very popular with Twitter because the government there, the people who control things, they actually, um, you know, they don't like people disagreeing, right? It's kind of like against the law. Uh, for example, if you say, I don't like this, this place is terrible, like you might go to jail, right? So uh, even on Twitter, uh, if you write something like that, you might go to jail too. Uh, but still, the the government, they're, they're letting people like just talk on Twitter. Like it's very, very, uh, it's like, it's almost like a town square because in Saudi Arabia, it's against the law to even go outside and just, you know, like have a meeting and be like, oh, I don't, I don't like what's going on here. Uh, so it's actually the fourth most popular Twitter sphere. Twitter sphere, like if you want to call like a, a big Twitter uh, usage place in the world. Uh, if you want to know, number one is the United States, which is really no surprise. Number two is the United Kingdom. Number three is Japan, and number four is Saudi Arabia. It's pretty interesting. Douche, douche. You know what? Like my favorite color is pink, and I also like purple. But um, sometimes I think about black. I think black is really, really cool. Um, you know, like, and I want to make like black, like, like darker. You know, like a darker. Color. Kind of black. That sounds what we need to. Well, Bram, you might like this, um, because scientists, what what they're doing actually is they're um, they're um, making uh, super black, like like it's called ultra black. It's called, in fact, NIST ultra black, ninety nine point nine nine percent dark black. Uh, basically, it has ultra black technology. It's little tiny, tiny, teensy, tiny carbon cylinders together, and so uh, they're they're mimicking, mimicking. It's like they're copying uh, animals uh, around the world. So um, so basically. There's some animals that have super black coloration. You don't see this in Zusania much because we don't really have black animals where we are. But um, uh, birds, for example, and spiders, and some, even some snakes. Um, for example, um, the male peacock spider. It has a super ultra black sheen to it. Oh, that's really cool. I, I want to wear. I want to wear some like clothes like that, like super black, you know, stuff like that. Because you know, uh, I think scientists are trying to, to make things like like solar power generators with that, and like radiometers and and telescopes. Something like that. Oh, you really know a lot about this stuff, don't you? I sure do. Doosh, doosh. You know, um, I have always wanted to have telepathic powers. How about you? Oh yes. Because you know, you know, Bram. Like, like, I love you so much, right? But sometimes, like, like I just want to like read your mind. Yes. Is that what telepathic Catholic powers are? Yes. Uh, telepathy is something that, that that's never been, been proven to be real, so we don't really know if it exists. But, but basically, it's the idea that you can read someone's mind. And believe it or not, there's some studies that uh, people can actually use computers to get in each other's brains. Oh my gosh! This is almost like that movie Inception, which I know I shouldn't have watched. Which, oh my gosh, it had Leonardo DiCaprio, and he like went inside a dream and the dream and the dream. It didn't make much sense to me, but I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so anyway, um, uh, scientists at University of Washington and also Carnegie Mellon, um, they, uh, you, you know, you know what the game Tetris is, Bram? Tetris, Tetris, no. It's a game you might get addicted to one day, uh, but basically, in, <clears throat> in in my day, um, 
you know, Tetris was uh, made with, with bricks. That's something totally different. But anyway, Tetris is a game that basically you put puzzle pieces together. And so these scientists, what they've done is they have three people playing Tetris together. Two of them can actually see the game, and uh, one of them can't. That that third one is just like staring at a wall, I guess. But he has like a some kind of computer chip in his brain, like a maybe a flexible uh, stentrode in his brain. They're calling it, and, and basically the, the others can can actually tell him what to do with their brains. You mean not talk to him? That's right. They just like okay, uh, pick the long skinny piece and put that skinny piece in so you can get four. Oh, I love doing that. Exactly. Doosh, doosh. So I have to talk about something serious today that I don't really understand. It's, it, it it always sounds like it's a bad word. I don't really know what it is. It's called like. Like cancer? Oh, yes, the horoscope, you mean. Cancer? No, 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 no. Cancer, it's like a like a serious sickness, like a disease or something. Yes, um, and, and luckily, uh, cancer, it's not contagious. You, you can't, you know, give somebody else cancer. No, but see, that's, that's the point, is that um, scientists have found that certain kinds of cancer, you can. Like, I think in Australia, they had, like, Tasmanian devils or something that, that uh, had a kind of cancer on their face that, like, I don't know, they could, like, spread it. Oh, oh, uh, okay, yes. So, yeah, I, I suppose there could be a cancer that, that is contagious, like you said, but... Well, what are you talking about exactly? Well, they just discovered that there's this uh, kind of muscle. Um, it's called a, a mitilus drosulus. You know, muscles are really good to eat, by the way. Um, but they discovered that these muscles that had cancer on them, they started in the Pacific coast in Canada, and they made their way to South America and also Europe. Oh, 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 well, that sounds bad. How did that happen? Well, they say that humans brought them over, you know, like shipping and, you know, just, just travel and stuff like that. Oh, that, that's very sad. Yes. Uh, by the way, I'd like to, to just to tell everybody what, what cancer is. You know, if you know somebody who has cancer, it's it, it's a sad thing, but, but it's not the end of the world usually, right? So cancer basically is when the little cells in your body are like like making more cells, but like not the right kinds of cells, right? So, um, you know, like even if you have like a mole on your skin, like a little piece of like, it's like brown, like, I have some on my skin, like that's not cancer. Like, it's not something serious, right? But it's the same idea. It's just sort of like something that builds that, 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 that you know, could, could be dangerous. So if you think you might have cancer, you know somebody who does have cancer, um, you know, you might want to see a doctor, of course. Douche. Douche. So I want to talk about uh, something kind of uh, good news, I guess. Remember Hurricane Dorian? It wasn't that long ago, but, um, you know, a lot of uh, uh, animals died and stuff. It was sad, especially North Carolina, the, the Outer Banks. Uh, but just the other day, they found four cows. Isn't that cool? Uh, yes, it is cool, Bram, but actually, I think you mean three cows. They found three cows, like, four miles. Oh, yeah, sorry. Three cows, four miles away. They were just, like, sitting there just eating. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, everybody, it's time for us to get out of here right now. Um, you know, I have this idea. Like, I'm making a comic book right now. It's really cool. I got a crayon. And, you know, here's my idea. Imagine if, if you know, um, like, Batman was, like, fighting Superman. And, like, you know, like, like Superman won. Like, remember, like, Batman versus Superman. Superman wins. But, like, Superman um, becomes Batman. That's my new idea. Superman is going to become Batman. So so there's no, no longer Batman. Isn't that kind of crazy? Uh, yes, I, I think, in fact, the, the people at DC Comics would think that was uh, especially crazy. Uh, anyway, so uh, I just want to remind everybody that, um, little news ears, um, as you get older, the news gets older, too. So Bram is heading toward becoming five years old. Still some months away, but um, uh, the news doesn't get older with him. So stick around with us. And don't forget, there's going to be little news ears for four-year-olds, too. Oh, I can't wait. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to check out our videos on YouTube.com and our teacher lesson plans and more on LittleNewsEars.com. May your sweetness shine and your colors glow. Blah. Yeah. Sources for today's broadcast include the New York Times, CNN, and the Daily Beast.